Okay, folks, here we are. Now, what we have here is a 12 by 12 MDF board, and it has been coated, first of all, with a few layers of gesso, sanded in between each layer, so it creates a nice smooth surface. And then on top of that, I have put a um, an acrylic base here of uh, uh, like a burnt sienna reddish orangey color. And then I've done a, a rough drawing. So that's the beginning. Now, that is, um, uh, that's, um, oh, <laughs> immediately my alarm starts to go off. Give me a second. Right. So now, let's start laying in a nice thin, thinned out with uh, spirits and a little bit of liquid. Just a nice thin um, uh, base here. Okay, that's a nice blue for the sky. A little bit darker at the, at the top here and getting later as I come down. I'm just following the drawing. Okay. And put it on nice and thin, folks, because I'll be letting this dry and it'll come along. I will come along, maybe a bit bluer than that. Just give me a second. A bit blur. I will come along and um, uh, fix it up. I'll pop more details in it here and there. Whenever the time comes. And it'll look wonderful. Or at least I hope it will anyway. Now, as you see, a little bit later at the base here. And I will work that in whenever I get the chance here. Just a little bit later at the base. And there we go. And let's just work this in here and create a nice gradient. Give the idea of maybe some wispy clouds, but if I want to do that, I will probably have to wait until it dries. Right, so there we are for that. Now, I'm going to put in all the darks here. That's kind of near enough my lightest light and maybe put a few clouds in there, it's a bit brighter. But it's near enough my lightest light and now I'm going to put in some um, uh, some clouds here for our clouds. What am I talking about? Talking nonsense is what I'm doing. Right, I'm going to put in my darkest darks here. So a little bit of oxide red, a little bit of ultramarine or um, uh, raw umber, some cadmium yellow, a little bit of ultramarine blue and some ivory black. Now thin it down, I want a, a, a relatively thin viscosity and I think that may do it. And just in here, uh, da, 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 da. scraping this on folks, just scraping it on. I don't want to go too close to the edges. Not not quite yet. Look at that. Just that, by doing it this way, you're leaving some texture behind. Scrape it on, push it around. Look at that. There's a there's a tree trunk. There's another one. Another one. Obviously, I'm not going to be using that, but just to give you the idea what you can and can't do. Now, as I'm moving towards the edge of the tree here. It's going to get a little bit brighter, a little bit greener. And just all, and all I'm going to do to achieve that is add a little bit of cadmium yellow and some ultramarine blue. Just make it a little bit lighter, coming towards the edges here. And we'll go a little bit lighter still. There we go, up along the edge. Now I want some blue and I want some cool areas, just some pure blue, near enough pure blue. It will mix with what's on the brush. I'll get that there. Lovely jubbly. Right, now. A little bit more spirits just to move this around. Creating a bit of a... Now look at the way I'm using the flat of the brush. Okay? It'll help create lovely textures. And remember, more will be happening as um, whenever this dries. So for the time being, it is just uh, the background painting. 
as it were. Okay. Lovely, 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 lovely. Now you can see that the gradient are just getting later and later as I come towards the edge. Now, what I think I will do while I have my brush here is just mark. You ever watch Ugly Betty? Mark! Mark! Anyway. Just mark for my sky placement here. Okay. Doing well so far, folks. Now, I want to create a little bit more texture in here, just a touch. So I'm going to be quite light with this. Just a, a dab, just pulling it off. A little bit here and there. And then, and you, uh, you will see that, just nice and, um, uh, nice and dark there, folks. Let me just get a, a darker thing here. I didn't go all the way to the edge for some reason along here, but there we go. Okay, my, now let's work on this hedgerow along here. Now this is a cool one. I want a nice cool hedgerow along here. So lots of uh, ultramarine and lots of um, cer cerulean. That's cool right down. I'll get a little bit of thalo too. Okay, and a little bit of, of black. Just a touch, not much. And I'll put some yellow in it. It will warm it a little bit, but it will be overpowered by the, the other colors. Okay, let me see now. Just get this in here. That's nice and cool now. That's a nice cool base. And I think I might be might just go for a few different planes here. Let me see. Okay, all right. Okay. And what I mean by that is I think yeah, I think I will do it that way. I, I'll, I'm just going to change my drawing here a little bit and have a plane up here and then a plane along here. So there's that differential there. And yeah, I, I like putting in extra planes. It, it, it gives a bit of a sense of distance. Now, because these planes are so close together, there's going to be almost an imperceptible level of atmosphere between them so there's no point in marking it you probably would mark it if you're going for ultra realism you probably would try and uh, try and differentiate the two but because in this there's, there's just no point they're just too close together to be given at that amount of detail okay now let me see, where are we? Bum, 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 bum. Just highlighting for it. Or, sorry, not highlighting for it, marking for it. Marking to where I want to see the, the light hitting these. That's nice. Okay. And then whenever I'm, uh, this is dry and I'm coming along at it, I'm, uh, I'll be able to just fix that up a little bit and highlight it even more so. Right, so let me see, where are we? Okay. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba, boom. What am I looking for? I'm right, looking for another brush. A nice ochre field in certain areas. So I'm going to create a bit of an ochre color. There's some cadmium yellow, some oxide red. I have too much oxide red in this. So I'm going to knock it back with a little bit of um, uh, raw umber. A little tiny bit of cadmium red. And then some, I'll use the sky color actually, as well as some, some white. Now, probably a bit more yellow than that. 
And again, using some of the sky color. That's not so bad now. There we go. It's a nice ochreish color here. Now some liquid and some spirits just to get this to move a little bit. So let's see where we are here. Okay. Now what I will do is if I want a few shadows of this coming across, so I'm going to mark for them. Just so I don't forget about them. Okay, there and I. Just marking for some shadows here. Now, back to it. Okay, 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 okay. A little bit brighter. A little bit brighter. Yes, the, let us know where the, the light is coming in. We, uh, so we grass and thingamajig here. And I intend to keep. Okay. Papa dipu. Now you can already see the, the it coming together. You can already uh, envision this. So, let me see now. Tiniest bit of, I put a little bit too much in the last time, a little bit of oxide red, just along here. Uh, I think that's too dark. Mm, yeah, I think that's a bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna lighten it up. A bit of sky color first, and a bit of um, white. Tiniest bit more of oxide red, and there we go. A Little bit lighter. And a little bit later again. And there we go. A little bit of uh, liquid in that there. Just help it dry. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So far, okay. Now, I think I'm going to change to a brush. A particular type of brush here. All this is is a mopping brush. Very cheap one that you buy on Amazon. But it's... It's... It's not as soft as it used to be. I'm going to be laying in grasses. And I'm going to put down the darker side of it first. Okay. Now. Now let me see. Before I go any further here, folks, I'm just taking a moment to get my tones right. Let me see. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. All right, there we go. Now you see I'm just dabbing that on. And it'll leave behind all the textures that I'm after. Lovely. You can even still see a little, a little bit of the, the background underneath. That's just very nice. Okay, that's very nice. A little bit darker in some areas here and there. Now, I'm just gonna let that dry up for a moment before I go any further. Let me just, I'll come up a little bit further into it, just up into here, so that I can highlight it a little bit later. There we go. Now what I want to do down here is a nice sagey green, as if a, a, a tree is shadowing this area along here. So I'm going to start off with some darks. 
let me see. Yeah. Mm, bit too dark, bit too dark. Okay, so I uh, need to get out some some more paint. I'm running out of paint on the palette. So I am running out of the paint on the palette. Tiniest bit of spirits. Let me see that. I'll get that. Scraping that on, folks. Just about scraping that on. Letting that, um, uh, letting that background painting show through, or the the the, the burnt sienna painting there. Or, what am I talking about? This orange back painting. Goodness gracious me! The ground is what I'm looking for. Okay. Getting lost in my own words there, folks. Um, a little bit darker, just to in this wee path area. Just along here. Just along here, folks. Lovely. Okay, now you can see the where the light's coming in. The light's coming along here, just kind of in behind here, just bump, hitting it, creating a nice, uh, a nice atmosphere. Right now, let me just have a wee tink to myself. Now, what I want to do is get the uh, near enough the same color. I'm just going to brighten it a little bit, sage it up a little bit. So some uh, ultimer or some raw umber. Some cadmium yellow and a little bit of blue. I want and cool. I want a cool color. A little bit of cerulean here. Nah, I don't want it too cold though. So adding a little bit of uh, um, oxide red to it here. But I do want it cold. Now that's important to me. Well, let me see here, just along here. That's nice, that's doing the job. I want a few darker patches here and there though. So I will, I will do that. But I'll do with a, uh, just a wee, Beat up brush here, just a wee simple brush, nothing spectacular about it. Just to, to create the idea of darker areas. This is all still very wet. Now I'm not using mineral spirits. I'm using that gam gamsol. It's a it's like a faux mineral spirits. And it doesn't dry quite as quick as, as mineral spirits, so I'm just and just having to allow myself to take the time with it that it requires just creating some slightly darker patches along there right so while I'm here and I'm creating this I'm going to do that this little grass hedge here let me see now It's the long hair. It's a bit bright, but we're still at the early stages here, so we're doing okay. Nice greenish color just to go over the top of it here. And that'll help um, uh, knock out that darkness. Did I say a bit bright? I didn't mean a bit bright. If I did say that, I'm not sure. 
I meant a bit dark in certain areas, is what I meant. Okay. Let's get some of that yellow ochre all filled in again here, or that ochre color. A wee bit more orange, a wee bit warmer. And gray it out a little bit with what's already on the palette. Don't be afraid to mess around with, with what's on your palette. Okay. I've got a little bit of a dimple there that I don't like, so I'm going to remove it. If I can find my knife. Okay. So let me see here. There we go. There we go. Now, removed. Now, I don't think I have exposed the board underneath, but it's fine. I'll cover that up anyway. Now. We're getting there. Now, this is nearly, nearly done for the time being. You can see where the light's coming in, which is what I'm after. I want you to see it at this early stage. So I does. You can see where the shadow is. You can see where the path is. I think what I will do though is I will fix up. Oh, look at this. This is oh, something. Anyway. All right. This is this is good. This is good. It is. It's good. Good. Right, hop into here. See this path? Now look at that. Look at that. That's what you have to watch out for. I want to go for a sweep. Our minds have a tendency to order everything. Put it in straight lines, put it in um, order for, for ourselves. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly remove a little arc here. Just like so. Bring that down. And let me see, just... Bringing that down to there. Okay. And then I will put in this. Oops, a dizzy. Too, too much, too much. I like so. We'll get ourselves a nice little arc going on there. Yes. And then fill in the rest. If I can find. There we go. <laughs> It's creating a nice little arc there, folks. All right, now that that is better to my eye. I like the sweep, sweeping nature of it. 
And it just needs to wait till it dries so I can give it a proper highlight and remove that dark area of it. Okay. And I think I'm going to do a little bit on the clouds here. And they're not going to be very noticeable, but they are going to be there. I don't want them. Uh, this isn't about the clouds. I just want a bit of a lighter base along here. so there's more a bit more of a contrast in this area Barely noticeable clouds, folks. Barely noticeable. And, of course, I will uh, give that a better seeing to whenever I get the, the opportunity. And I'll just let that be for now. Now, I'm maybe... No, I was going to say I'll darken that area, but, but not quite yet. There's still a wee bit of work here to do. If I can find a nice little brush to do such a thing. I just want to lighten this area along here. So it does, so it does. Put a bit of green on it as well. It's not being this going to be shadowed along here because the light is here. So I just want some green up along here and lightening this area. Okay. Just rolling this around, just creating randomness. All ready to be detailed whenever the chance comes along. Like so. Now, I also want to, I'll just wipe a little bit off this brush. I'll do the same with this area here. Just roll this on, just knocking the, the hell out of the, all that light, or the, all that dark there. Right. I don't want it to be too dark in there. Okay. Now what I'm I'm be waiting on is actually you know what? Why wait on it? And all I have to do is wipe it out. There we go. Why wait on it? Now let me see, let me see here now. Okay. A little bit of liquid and then just lay it down. There we go, that's a bit better. Yes. Bit more saturation. Now I'm after some ra raggedy edges, so I'm just going to get this worked in first, and then I'll rag those edges up a little bit. Let me see. Yes, look at the brightness of that. Look at how nice and bright that is. Okay, and the same goes along here. Nice and saturated. Keeping that texture. 
just dancing that brush about in order to keep that texture. Lovely. Lovely, very nice. Now I'm just thinking to myself, folks, just thinking to myself, um, where I am and what I'm doing. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just having some moments to myself here, folks. No. Just having the moments to myself. I just need to... Need to do the same thing along here now. And I think... I don't want to do the same mistake as the last time, so I'm just I'm just going to wait here. So I'm um, just going to wait. And I think for the uh, for the underpainting, I am all but done. I would say so. Right. Whenever I come back to finish this, I'll give I'll uh, we'll have a wee chat then, I suppose. So bye for now. Okay, right folks, now back to this one. So, let's get most of this done. I'll probably come back a little bit later and uh, finish it off with a, a few details here and there and there and here. But let's get uh, a good bit of it done here. Right, so just going to, to work on the sky here. A little bit darker at the top than, than the, at the bottom. Just filling fill in what I've already done. Just slightly covering it up. Now I've got a hair there that I want to shift out of the way. There we go. A little bit darker. There we go. Very nice. Little spots here and there. Just getting them covered in. And then as we're moving down, folks, a little bit brighter. Not much, though. Just a little bit. A little bit of cerulean as I'm coming down here. Just to get that lighter blue sense going on. Now, I'm just going to work myself around these semi-clouds down here. There we go. Just working myself around this. There we go. And I don't want the, the sky to be too blended. I want a little bit of, a bit of movement and a little bit of life in it. But not as much as what I have. So I'm going to, to blend it a bit. There we go. No, and just add a bit of a different. I just want to put these clouds in a little bit, and I'm going to be scumbling or I'm um, glazing these on with a white. It's hard to glaze with a white, but there you go. It's more of a of a painting rather than uh, a glazing, but but it's a very thin white. want to reshape a little bit here, soften some edges, put in another wee wisp here and there just. Now for that little 
little bit is lifting, but I'm okay with that. A little bit of the background showing through. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Now, let's just soften it up a touch. Now, I think I maybe introduce a new, um, uh, a new blender, if I can find one. This one here will have to do, it's not the one that I was looking for, just a, again an old makeup brush or a makeup brush. Just blend all that and soften it up a little bit. Make them look like nice fluffy burly noticeable clouds. There we go, lovely. Now, just give that a wipe off. I'll be using it a little bit later. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken this area along here. So, to do such a thing, I'm going to use... What am I going to use? Let me see. Just, ah, just a wee soft brush. It's a Rosemary & Co. size 5, long, flat, and it's a series 279. I'm going to darken this area up and I'm still going to leave some of that red through showing through so a bit of a glaze a bit of a glaze okay right now taking a good piece off the brush just all I'm after is a, a slightly darker tone and scraping it on allows some of that uh, to show through. Now a little bit thicker in certain areas. The viscosity a little bit thicker allows me to um, uh, uh, paint it rather than glaze it. So I'm, I'm jumping in between glazing and painting here, glazing and painting. Okay, okay, okay. Glazing and painting, folks. Glazing and painting. There we go. Nice and dark. All right, now I'm going to put in a little bit of highlights for myself here. There's a little flat brush. Let me see. This one will do. Just a little flat brush. Now, get myself a nice CAG green here. Let me see, probably a bit brighter than that. I'll use a little bit of the sky in it. Now what I'm going to do, folks, I'm only using some liquid just to help it dry a bit. What I'm going to do is really take a good bit off the brush, at least initially. Not much on the brush. And I'm just going to top this in. I just want to see. Uh, Probably a bit brighter than that, but uh, I'll uh, I will carry on with this for now because there are darker areas over here that will allow um, uh, that dark to, to pop or this this tone to pop through. Okay, just dancing this brush around, folks, creating some highlights here. And not to cover too much up. Okay, now I'm going to come into the uh, the area. Just give me a wee second here. I want a darker version of this, but only just. So I'm just going to use what's down here, and like get the idea that this is fading off. There we go, lovely. Yep, that's it now. Okay, and let me see. Now I want a, a, a nice brighter version of it now. Now this is where I'm going to be, going to show some caution. 
because this is where you can overdo it. This is the highlights. You really can't overdo this. And I'm just going to be nice and gentle with it. Pulling it onto the edge of the brush, or to the side of the brush, I should say. Like along here is where the paint is, rather than at the edge. Just along here. Just pulling it onto the edge of it so that I can dab it on like so. And that leaves a lot of texture behind. Very good. Now as I'm moving in here, I don't, I don't want too much in here because we're moving away from the light here. So I'm just going to create a bit of a balance. I think what I will do is I'll change my brush to a, a filbert, have a wee bit of a rounded edge on it. If I can find, there we go. Okay, now let's see here. Very good. Now, now we, you can see that the, the light's coming into it. Now a little bit brighter in some areas. So I'm going to use some of the sky color because it is directly affecting this. Well, as it directly affects almost everything, but I'm going to th um, uh, thin it out just a touch, get it off to come off the brush a touch. Just going to lay it down. There we go. All right, now I'm going to soften this up a bit. A bit. Good start. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on these, these back ones here while I have the colors on the, the palette. Okay, now, slightly darker. The same, just here. Okay, now I just want to darken this area here a touch, a little bit cooler as well. Just along here. All right. I give the sense of a bit of distance there. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do today, I already used that, I did. I'm just going to create a bit of a valley bit of a valley shadow here. Grey valet. Yellow is very good for greying out a valet, but let me get the valet first. And then I'll grey it out a little bit. 
with this greeny yellow here. So a lot of blue. I want a good coolness in this. Maybe a bit of black just to darken it up a touch. Now a little bit of red on it. And I'm going to create a valley shadow here. Oops, I just missed a touch, but that's okay. I just wipe that off. Oh, oh, a bit too much umber on that. And not keen on this. Oh, it turned out. But easy fix. Alright. Now I just need to put some texture on it and I will do such a thing with a little brush, just a little beat up brush. And I'll put that texture in with a little bit of raw umber, just a slightly darker yellow, a little bit of ultramarine to help with the, the greenness of it. Slightly darker. And of course there will be instances whenever I'll be going fully dark. But all I'm doing here is slightly just reshaping some of this with texture. I'm putting a little bit of, of this into it, a little bit of that into it. Okay, that's nice now. That's a bit better. It's putting a bit, um, a bit of shade into it here and there. And let me say a little bit more green. As we're moving into the shade, I want it to be a little bit cooler. A little bit cooler. Sounded like a preacher there. A little bit cooler. It's a bit better. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better, but I really didn't like it. Really, really didn't like it. So let's just start shaping some areas here now. Sometimes I find myself I'm a little too fast and I need to take a step back and slow down. myself just plan forward you know okay right now right, let me see I want to I want to get this area here sorted so it does so nice and bright and saturated it's where the, the sun is hitting it here some yellow some red Cadmium red, some um, uh, oxide red, and a little bit more yellow. Now I've already got, this is a brush that I use for the, the clouds in the sky here, so there's a little bit of blue in it, and that'll help grey it out. Just a bit is all I'm after. So now let me see here. Oh, that's nice. That's just about right, I would say.
Keeping it nice and rough too, folks. That, to achieve that painterly look. Nice and sharp edges of these shadows. Softening some of them and sharpening others. Now, I want to leave a nice wee darker patch here. So I'm going to just leave what is there and come down a bit further. A bit more sun in it. Just along here, nice and bright. And uh, too much on the brush. I'm going to scrape a good bit off this. Just sort of scraping onto the canvas. Or the board, sorry. And leaving that texture behind. Righty ho, now let me see. Just softening this up, just a touch. Okay, nice and bright now. Look at that, that's created a nice shadow and a nice uh, lighted area. All right, so let me see. Let me get me a little brush here. Just might as well, while I'm here, create these grasses. Bit brighter. Pop it up, 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 up. That just dancing that around, folks. The light, just letting the light fall onto it. You've already created a lot of the shade in here. And this we hedgerow. And all I'm asking you to do here is just be gentle, but you know, try and be random as well, as much as you can. It's hard for us as human beings to be random. We, our brain really does try to order everything. Okay. No, 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 no. And what I'm going to do, because I'm so unhappy with it, is I'm just going to, to go over the later areas of this tree with a bit of a darker, a bit of a darker look to it. Just not happy with how that came out. Again, too fast. Working too fast. Thinking that I need to, I don't know what I'm thinking that I need to do here. Sometimes, but... Okay. That will do for the time being. Now I'm going to work on the, um, the front grasses here. So... <coughs> now what I'm going to do is we'll lay down a little bit of grass. Now what brush should I use to do this? I'll use a little um, uh, fawn brush. Now there's barely, I'm, I'll, I'll be surprised if you can see this, what I'm about to do. Because um, it's just going to be so, the tone is going to be just so slightly different. And I don't want to, um, uh, to make the tone too dark just so that you can see it. Because that would just be 
That would just be wrong to do such a thing. Taking a good bit off the brush. And let me see, you can't see that, yes. That's okay, I'm not too, too fussed about that. I thought you wouldn't be able to see it. I do want some green in it as well. I must keep that in mind. That's a bit bright, a bit dark, sorry. Back and forward. A little bit of green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of little bit of everything, folks. Just creating that myriad of colors and shades and dips and and flicks. You know, just create a little a little dip in the grass there and another one over there. And then you just keep your brush going up and down. Okay. And then uh, I'll put the highlights in whenever the chance gets. Now I want to do the same over here. this scraped on and scraped off and and just here I'm gonna put a little bit of this purple into it as well just because because it's there you know it's part of the, the whole thing just using what I have There we go now, that will act as they, oh, I better not leave this area here. Now it will act as the grasses underneath creating all the shades and what have you. That's the point of it. Now all I'm going to do at the minute is, um, uh, just create a little bit of a darker area here and there in this pathway. I don't want this to be uniform. So I'm just using raw umber here, basically. Let's dance that about, look at that. Little, uh, little areas. Just little areas. There we go. That gives a nice deep crevice there, as you can see that. Okay, all right. Coming along nicely. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, only with a lighter color this time. Only with the highlight on this. And I'm, not, I'm going to be stingy, so I am. I'm definitely going to be a bit stingy here. I don't want too much highlight on this. But, you've got to be able to see it, let me see. Now that isn't even close to a highlight. A little bit of warmth and I'll put a little bit of cadmium yellow in it. And a little bit of a uh, bit more white. I'll mix it over here for the time being. Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. There we go now. Now I have a feeling it's a bit too bright. Bit too bright, but, but we're okay. Right, that has brought it back a bit. A 
Now, I, my goal here is to not cover this up at all. It is just the odd highlights to leave a little bit behind. And then, as I'm going along, change up the tone and change up the color a little bit. And a little bit of a little bit of grass growing here, like there's a good a good option, a good opportunity there, just to bring this up into the to this area here. <coughs> okay, now let me see. Trying to leave patches behind, and as I get further. Or sorry, as I get closer to the to the viewer here, I, I you see I'm dabbing the brush like so. As I get closer and I say I get down to here, I'll be flicking the brush down in order to create grasses or the looks of grasses. I'm starting to do it now. Just little bits, and then I will soften a lot of this. A little bit warmer as I'm coming coming down here. Just a little bit warmer. And patchy, folks, patchy. Look at that. Right now, let's get the the blender out here. And this is, folks, just the softest of softs. Yeah, it's all in the one direction, normal, but whatever direction you wish to go in. Just gently, barely touching. Nice soft grasses. Now you can see that that really brought this shadow out here. Okay, so let me see now. Yes, obviously I don't like these areas here, but they're easily fixed. Do, 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 do. Now what I want to do is this is just a bit too blocky. Let's scrape this on. Just to remove that. There we go. And then Nice and gently. Still working it, folks. Still working the grasses. Okay, there and there. Now you can see the uh, the sun coming out here. You can see it developing here. I look at that. I need to fix that up. Actually, I'll do that now while while I have it in my mind. Okay. Okay, now, need to work on this side now. See him again, a little bit, little bit redder, a little bit warmer, just a little bit. I want there to be a slight difference between these two, two sides of the fields here. Just be cautious as you're coming down here, you're, you can forget, you're coming along the edge here, you can forget that you're getting closer to the viewer here. So just keep that in mind that you are moving closer to the viewer. But 
too much on the brush for my liking. Leaving lots of little things behind here. Not entirely covering this whole surface. Just leaving them so that it looks patchy. Okay, now all right. Now I'm what I'm going to do here is uh, fix up this shadow. A nice coolish green here. So a bit of blue, a bit of cerulean blue in this. Okay, a little bit of cadmium yellow. Well, let me see. And it's a bit too cool, so a little bit of oxide red. Just to warm it up. I'll bring a little bit of umber into it too. Well, I'm getting there now. I'm getting there, getting there. Let me see, let me see. A little bit of ultramarine. Okay. That's it. I think I'm happy with that. Okay. Want a cool-ish thing going on here? So let me see how bright this is. It's not quite there. Not quite there. A little bit brighter. Just going to use what's on the, the palette here. Tiny bit more blue. Let me see here. Let me see now, this is where I want to be cautious. I don't want to get this too wrong because it just gives me extra work, this is all. And so far, everything seems to be okay. Just going to roll this across. Again, not entirely covering this. I want some of that background to be shown through. And I will need to, to come in here and darken down some areas. Okay, now I believe I'm getting here. Okay, now let me see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and slightly darken this, um, but I want a bit of a beat up brush, which I was already using there. I think I'll just, yeah, I'll just continue using it. I'll just darken the paint. And so I will, so I will. But a little bit of Vulture Marine. Now I'm just checking this first for, for darkness. I'm dead on. For tone. Okay, so let me see now how we... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Too much on the brush. Taking a good bit off the brush. And just creating some darker patches in here. Okay. And then a little bit darker still. Maybe a bit of warmth in it this time. Oh, a bit too much warmth on it. 
Just down at the, the bottom corner here. Again, trying not to have too much on the brush. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for now and have a wee look at it when I'm done. But what I, I will do actually is I will just score it with a, a dry brush. If I can find one, here we go. Give the sense of grasses in this. And there we go. All right. Okay, now. Just while I have the brush here. It's creating that grass like effect. There we go. Right. Now, same on the other side. The same on the other side on the other side. So I'm going to begin with the darker side here. I'm just going to roll this on in certain areas. Again, not an entire coverage. Just dibs and dabs to create patches. And then, back to the green again. A little bit of uh, umber, a little bit of yellow some cerulean and some white just a bright lift it a touch keep it cool as well so let me see ah, that's good okay da -da 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 -da. And then I'm going to hit this with the uh, with the dry brush again. The dry, I think this is it, isn't it? Yeah, with this here. Just pull those up. Okay. There we go. Now a little bit more along here, just closing this path off a touch. Right, so I right. Not too happy none with that uh, tree highlight, but yeah, I'll fix that whenever the time comes. It's not too bad, you know, but uh, just not enough texture in it for me. It's too too smoothed out. Right, let me see. Uh, now I, I can see a good bit of light in this. So what I'm going to do is just mess around with the edges of the tree here. <coughs> just sort of that it's kind of dry by the time I'm ready to to rock and roll. A few darker areas too, I must must remember. brush <laughs> just to create the odd branch that's all just the odd branch here and there Give me some structure as well to, to lay my paint down. So 
lay the leaves down. And while I'm at it, I might as well do over here. Over in the, in the corner. Right. There's somebody out my door, so I shall be back in a momento. Alrighty, folks. Now, what was I doing there? I can't remember what I was at there, but so I'll just work on these here. This area here, a touch. Bring this into it. All right, okay. Now, ah, yes, right. There are other things here that need doing. And it's here along here. Just to remove the very edge of this, uh, this pathway. Just taking that edge off it, as you can see, that it has been taken off it. Trying to maintain the look of the grass. Trying to make sure that it is grass like. And still maintain, or, and still laying down the odd highlight. Barely touching the canvas here. Just creating no streaks. Very good. Very good. Happy. Right now, a little bit more bright on this side. And then that will do for the time being, I think. Oh, a bit too much. A bit too bright. Uh, not bright enough. Back and forward, folks. Back and forward. There we go. Just about getting it right. Just creating that idea and then look at that just getting it all worked in so it looks patchy let me see oh yes much better much much better okay now what i'm going to water gone Oh, that's what I was doing. I see it now. I was working on the branches here. Yes, yes, I see it now. Okay. And that's what I'll do, I think. Just get a, a few of them in here and just crossing each other and just... There we go. Allow me to... And one up here, maybe. That will allow me to um, uh, put in the the um, uh, the leaves and the whatnot. A little bit of a thicker one here, I think. Just more apart, just and maybe again along here. I just knock those edges back. There we go. And a wee thin one here. And hopefully, when the time comes, I will completely cover it up. <clears throat> oh, 
I'm just going to allow for some some tree trunks here. A bit of cadmium red, a little bit of raw umber creates a nice grey, a nice warm grey. And I think this might be a bit too bright, but we'll test it and we'll see. Let me see here. Um, yeah, it's a bit bright. I'll add a little bit of blue to it. It's just a bit bright for me. Nice, nice, came off well, now uh, here, and then up here, just jerking my hand as I'm moving, just to create that broken, or not that broken, the, uh, the way trees, the randomness of the way trees grow. Now you can barely see it at the minute, but of course with highlights and what have you, you will eventually see it. Whenever I get the chance to have a go at it. A little bit brighter. And then one last one maybe, one last one just to, to lead into this tree up here, into these uh, twigs or branches up in here, just to give you the impression that it's there, there we go. Now. A little bit looser of a mix. Just rolling the brush to create all that randomness breaking away, each branch breaking away in a, in a random manner. Just rolling that, look at that, just creating all of that, those edges of the branch. Very nice, coming out rightly. Now here's one here that I'm just cognizant of. Making that just that little bit more apparent there. Pump the boom. Now I think just a wee branch coming out here. And again, rolling that brush to create all that randomness. There we go. Now, I'm just going to darken one down a bit here, just see here. Okay, all right for now. Yeah. <laughs> Little bit warm, actually. A little bit more heat in this. Because the sun is directly affecting, well, it will be directly affecting the highlights. So, just a little bit of warmth pl planted down the side of it here. Now, what I need to do is make sure I get the the thing right in the first place. Make sure I get the the highlights on the tree right the next time. So. 
simple as that, folks. I just make sure I get it right the next time. That's what I'm trying to say. Easier said than done on sometimes, you know. Like I say, I can get very far ahead of myself at times. And just, I'm, uh, I get very far ahead of myself at times. And before I know it, hold on folks, I'm trying to think at the same time here. I'm trying to think folks, it's hard to think. Uh, just be cautious, take your time. I'm a, I, I work fast and, and I like working fast, but sometimes it doesn't pay off. Whenever, you know, and sometimes it just doesn't pay off. So, I must learn to take my time. Like so many things, you know. And you can see that beginning to build a bit better now. So, my taking time is paying off. Even now, right in front of your very eyes. There we go. Yes, a bit better, right? Eh? What say you? What say you? Now, while I have it on my brush here, you're going to add a little bit of darkness. Certain areas here. Just to, just to create a little bit more contrast in here. Sure it is. Just out of just getting this here and a little bit of a darker mix here. Tiniest bit here. And just bringing this grass across into this path a bit. And the same here on this side. There, look at that. <laughs> a little bit darker over here. Near time for me to go and get my tendons. All right, okay, now pretty much the same here for the, the textures. nice now that's good bit better bit happier and I do think now the light has really come into it I'm happy enough with those back trees nice and rough uh, and my only gripe I think is with the, the front tree here the highlights here but I'm going to lay down some of the uh, these here parts here, just the darker part of it. I'm 
that's good okay it's coming out rightly so it is I want to completely cover things up but I do want the edges to be nice and dark or what am I talking about right again I have a, a nonsense moment so I'm just going to keep quiet okay let that grow out a little bit and then over here mm, a bit darker indeed a bit darker but warm as the light is shining through let me see oh yeah oh yeah Mm-hmm. Oops. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful and happy with this now. <laughs> okay, now what I just want to do before I move on is just create some more very obvious bright sky hold here. Again. Uh -huh. At least for now. Soften that texture just a bit. There we go. And then I'll come along and I'll, I'll properly highlight this after my tay, probably. But we'll see. And I think then maybe that would be it almost all but done. Maybe work a little bit more in this hedgerow and take a moment before I, I uh, call it done. The high, the trees have to be high, or the tree trunks have to be highlighted too. Anyway, for now, that will do. Bye for, um, for now. Okay, folks, back to, back to this one. Now, I just want to get, I just want to get the coloration of this, or the, the coloration on the tone of this, right? So, a little bit of raw umber, a little bit of cadmium yellow, tiniest bit of oxide red. Just lighten it a little bit. Now, it's, this is somewhat dry. It still has a bit of tack to it. So it, I'm able to drag the, the, the brush over it and, it's, and it pulls off um, nicely actually. Creates a good bit of texture. And able to just place it where I want. Okay, there now I, I can see this already beginning to be a bit, a bit bit whore. So I so I am. Here we go, just right across there, breaking that up. Not quite as uh, bright up here, d down in this area. Oops, it is a hoo hoo hoo. Nearly dropped a, a, a load of paintbrushes there. Right, okay. Now, now, this is just a little bit more caution. Just dropping in the shapes here. Oh, 
All right, and and as I move move back, it gets slightly, slightly darker. And not one way to do that is if you already have dark paint down. One way to do it is to just put the the paint on in a thin manner. Let it scrape past it, and scrape through it. All right, okay. Now it has a bit of a a nicer um, uh, nicer look to it, I think. Just have this come down here, just as a part of the tree overlapping those background trees. There we go. Now, lots of, lots of little ticks and flicks here and there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand back and have a look to see where it needs darkened and sharpened up a little bit. Okay. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Just thinking to myself here, folks, just have an emmento to myself. Right, have no wee looksy, no wee looksy about see. Right, going to change the brush. Because I want more flex and ticks in it. Aha, getting there. A little bit a uh, change of color. Slightly more red and stuff, not in oranges and and what have you. Afraid of it. Nice and bright, yes, that's better. And you see them down here now, just. Nice and sharp as well in some areas. It's a bit better. To my eye, anyway, it's a bit better. Okay, now I want to do the same with a slightly darker. And then let me see, look at this here. See, I don't like that now. See that, that, that double thing going on there? No, no need to have any of that. Not at all. No need to have that about you. I'm just looking for any repetitiveness there's too there, you see that? So let's just take a little bit of it out. Okay, that's coming along. I still think this edge here isn't quite as bright as it should be. So I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. Just to the add with you the to help with the opacity of it all. Now it's brightening the edges up rightly there. Yes, better, better, better. And all I did, all I did there now was go away and take a 
skip I take about a an hour's break. Just give your mind a rest. If it's not going your way, just go and have a little seat. Now, look at that. That has nicely darkened this area here, and I think I may be darkening it a bit more, but not quite yet. But what I want to do is I want to work on this here. I think they're a bit too... a bit too uh, dark as well. So let's see here. But, but... But uh, more yellow than that. Let me see. And la 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 la. Just plan at the minute. That brightens it up a little bit, so it does. So it does, so it does. And now, 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 now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to come into this area here and darken down some areas. So, some raw umber, some oxide red, some phthalo green. Actually, create a nice dark tone here, a little bit of ultramarine blue, not too much. So let's see where this tone takes me. There we go, just, just darkening down some of these edges here, just so there's a bit of a gradient in them as well. And then you have a, a, a nice black patch where, where light is found it difficult to get in. You know, that's kind of important too. Now. All right, okay. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to have a wee look at this tree here and give myself a nice wee brush to do this. This is a wee tiny, tiny brush. So Rosemary & Co. Uh, Avery Short Flat and it's a size zero and it is quite small, quite small. I just I want a wee spot of my own here. One that I can manipulate the warmth of this this color here. Yeah, mm, that's not so bad. A little bit of cadmium in it. A little bit more. A bit brighter. Now what this is going to be is the tree trunks and the um uh, oh I need to not have so much on the brush okay and the light hitting them so there we go there there and I'm just checking I think it might be a bit too cold I'm gonna put a little bit of heat in it a little bit of warmth down here, just at the, da, 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 da. at the minute, I'm unsure about this. 
So I am, so I am, so I am. But I can always glaze over it. So it's not that big of a deal. Oh, what good does it mean if I ain't got you, ain't got you? It's not going to back a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby, baby. Ah, we're getting there, folks. Little bits at a time. It's still a bit wet, so I'm just kind of being a wee bit cautious with what I'm doing here. Right, so let's see where we are here. Aye, 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 a bit better. I'm a bit of a better feeling towards it. I'm going to brighten the, uh, the trees themselves a little bit here. A little bit of red. I'm giving myself a valet going on here. A grey valet. A little bit more. Just playing, folks. Letting things be nice and rough and... And what have you. Okay. No. I'm back to another little brush here just to put in some some ski color.
breaking these edges just as if there are um uh, what do you call them leaves and whatnot all around it right okay now now I want to do the same over in this area here all right I need my mall stick which is an IKEA cup holder or hook holder I should say okay Yes, okay. Yes, that's, I am feeling a little bit better about this. A little bit better. No, no, now I've gone and messed the one up rightly. So I uh, have gone and messed the one up rightly. So I'll just fix it up. Fix it up. There we go. Make it look as if it's covered with a little bit of leaves. Right, now, using the same wee brush, it's one of those wee dagger brushes. I'm just going to lighten the front of it here, and then maybe that will be it. So, let's get myself some cadmium yellow and some, a little bit. Just a little bit of uh, oxide red and a little bit of white. And the tiniest bit of this, of the liquid, just to help it move. And then here. Well, let me see. Mm -mm -mm. See, oh, how do we? A little bit more white.
me if I ain't got you, baby. It's taking a good bit off the brush. Add a little bit of uh, cadmium or white to it there. Just a, a, a general brightness. Almost there with this one, folks. Almost there. This is basically a scumble, near enough, a scumble, just to get, it, get it to be a bit brighter, so that it looks like the sun is really pelting down in certain areas. Just scumbling that on, and it's coming off well, it's doing, doing what it's supposed to do. I just want to add some detail and I will use a small fan brush for this And then, and then, and then, what do I, where's my other little brush? I want a smaller one than this. And I don't think I'm going to find them. I'm going to have to compromise and see what mark this type of thing leaves here. Bringing the edges of this up into it a little bit. Softening those edges and bringing them uh, bringing up a little bit of grasses. Okay, so let me see where, where we are here. Now, there's a little bit here that I'm just going to push down into here um, in places. Makes look it look like as if it's breaking through in certain areas. Aye, so it's not so even just, that's all. Right folks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a step back here and see what we is with this. Um, I don't think these are, are bright enough. You may see me come back and revisit this. I just don't think they're bright enough, is all. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm done with this. But I'm close to it. I'm very, very close to it. Anyway, I'll see you all whenever I come back to finish it. Bye for now. Okay, folks. I almost finished with this one. Just a little bit of this and that to do to it. I'm going to glaze a certain area over here, make it a bit warmer, and then remove some of it, and that should help. Maybe add a bit more weight to it here and there, just to get a bit more brightness into it. <coughs> so here's some liquid on uh, which I've put it far too much. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me, I will fix that now. And I just want to warm the area of it here. So give me a nice little brush to do such a thing. <coughs> Nothing special about this brush. It is, I believe, if I can find it, a number six Rosemary & Co. Evergreen Long, Long Flat. Now this is... Oh, there's a bit of... Uh, oh no, that's not good. There's a bit of white in that. I need a new brush. Didn't wash it properly. So I'm just going to warm this area over here just. Now I'll be putting this on and taking it off where I see fit. I look at that, you can see that that's really warming it. Nicely. I don't want to go too far into here, I want this nice and cool down here. Ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, ba 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 ba, ba ba <clears throat> okay. Ah, that really does warm it. Now I just want a little bit more up in here, I think. <laughs> Too much. Let's wipe that off, folks. Let's get rid of that. There we go. And then... And then, and then, and then, and then... Just a little bit along here too. I'll be using a... Um, uh, kitchen towel to wipe this off. Kitchen towel has a tendency to leave a little bit behind. More so than, than a cloth. Right, so I'm just going to come up into this area now, a little bit more uh, oxide red as opposed to, to yellow, but a little bit of yellow in it too. <clears throat> Staying away from the, the scary parts of it as best as you can. Lovely. Just warming this whole thing. and then selectively wiping it out. All right, now. There we go. Basically the whole area maybe, except for this, this part down here. Now let's selectively wipe some of this out. <coughs> Little bit over here. Don't want that too warm here. All right. And now uh, a little bit along here. Just bring those highlights back a touch. Just at the very edge here. Okay. Now I do want to take a good bit off this area here, just along the top here. Keeping that nice and bright. Certain areas. You see how that brings that out? 
Lovely. That's turned out okay now. Just blend that that in a little bit. Now, what I do want to create just little patches of green here and there. Just little patches of green here and there, here and there. And more of a glaze than anything else. Let me see. Maybe that. Yep. <coughs> Maybe a bit darker. A little bit more blue in it. Let's see here. All I'm doing here is creating little, a bit of texture in the grasses. And it creates a little bit of life in it. Hopefully anyway, that's, that's the, um, the point of it and just a few highlights here and there and I'm, I'm very close to being finished with this I, I definitely want to work on the brights here of the of the tree just need to make them a touch brighter okay now a little bit of liquid just help this move off the brush a bit give myself a little orange spots warm spots here and there Lots of little differences in colors and, and what have you. I just like the idea of lots of little uh, <coughs> differences in it. Nah, I do want to fix this area up along here. So let's get a, a darky color going on here. Let me see if that's dark enough. It's a bit too dark, I would think. But only just. Only just. Bum, 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 Flicking that up as wee bits of grass growing up and in, in, into it. That's good. That's nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Same again here. Just little greeny bits of grass. Just affecting the the area there. A little bit of a hair sticking out there. Okay. No. No, what do I, what do I, what do I, what do I, what I do want? Oh, I have an alarm going here. Give me a secondo. Okay, now, I just want to see a wee area here that I want to make just a touch brighter. Just take that glazing off a little bit. There's the odd patch here and there on this too. There we go. Now I think the only thing left that I want to do is just create some grasses along here and along here and then highlight those uh, the, the light on the trees a bit better. Just dancing that around, 
trying to create some randomness that goes up into here. So, all right, just creates the idea if other things is happening over here. And just come along and highlight some of it. Ah, right, good. Now I do want to do the same thing along here with a bit of a a different um, tone, just slightly lighter, just to, so you can see this popping through here. All these grasses just growing up and into it. <coughs> All right. All right, okay, now I'm, I'm just taking a little second to uh, make sure that I am where I want to be. Right, okay, I'm going to, now I'm going to um, uh, put on the little thingamajigs. The lights in the trees, if I can find the brush, there we go. Nice bright orangey yellow. Bit of uh, white in it. And let me see how bright this is. Not completely covering up what I have there. No. Not completely covering up what I have there. Just leaving a little bit of it behind. bit darker in certain areas along here Take a little step back and see where I is with, with this with this thing. My phone's busy today, isn't it? Let me see now. Right, you can come with me folks as I take a dander here. I'm about ten feet away from this. Look at that. Now the sun is shining through. It's nice and bright. There's good light in that, I think. <coughs> Right, I think I'm going to call this one a day. So, please like and subscribe if you're inclined to do so. And I will see you all in the next one, I suppose. So, for now, have a nice day and goodbye until I see you later. Bye, 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 bye.